Hello learners, you are watching Geographia Momita Shon Creation. Welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about exogenetic process and resultant landforms. And this includes more about gradation, degradation and aggregation. So guys, watch the full video from first to last without skipping. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. The earth surface is adorned with various topographical features like mountains, plateaus, plains, etc. These are called landforms. Geomorphology deals with these landforms and the processes that shape them. The surface of the earth is modified by combination of surface process and geological process. Surface process comprise the action of water, wind, ice, living things, etc. on the earth surface. The geological process cause tectonic uplift and subsidence. They include uplift of mountain ranges, growth of volcanoes, surface elevation, etc. The landforms on the earth are created by natural forces like sunlight, river, wind, glacier, sea waves, groundwater, running water, tides, etc. At first we know about geotectonic movement, the different physical phenomena and processes giving rise to various landforms and their continuous evolution and change are known as geotectonic movements or process. Now we learn about geomorphic process. What is geomorphic process? Natural forces that interact physically or chemically with the earth surface are called geomorphic process, which means the physical and chemical processes that have been working since of birth, since the birth of the earth to create, change, reform or rebuild a landform are called landform creating process or geomorphic process. In short, the processes that act inside and outside, inside means interior and outside uh, the earth surface and lead to formation of various landforms are called landform creating process or geomorphic process. Geomorphic process can be divided, uh, can be divided into three parts like terrestrial process, extraterrestrial process and man-made process. What is terrestrial process? The geomorphic processes which are active on the earth surface are called terrestrial process which is active on earth surface means uh, landforms means uh, inland Th these are called terrestrial process. These terrestrial process play vital role in shaping the features on the earth surface. The terrestrial processes can again be grouped into two parts, endogenous or endogenic process and exogenous or exogenic process. What is endogenic process? Now we learn about endogenic process. The forces that act from within the earth are called endogenic process or endogenetic process but force. These forces cause two types of movement in the earth namely vertical movement and horizontal movement. These movements give birth to various relief features such as plateaus, plains, lakes, folds, falls, etc. Volcanic eruption and earthquakes are also a result of endogenetic process and endogenetic process uh, works in two types slow movement and sudden movement. Epigenic movement and orogenic movement are two groups of so, uh, slow movement and sudden movement movements are like earthquakes and volcanicity. Now we learn about exogenous or exogenetic process which is in our class 10th syllabus. Okay. Exogenetic process. Definition of exogenetic process. The word exogenetic comes from the word exo meaning outside and genesis meaning creation. Hence, exogenetic refers to forces that are created outside the earth surface. The forces which act on the surface of the earth externally and cause changes in landforms are called exogenetic forces. 
These forces are also known as denudational forces. Exogenetic forces are constantly engaged in destruction of relief features which have been formed due to the endogenetic forces. Rivers, glaciers, winds, underground water, sea waves are some exogenetic forces that work to change the landforms on the earth surface. Which means earth surface opore baire theke is refer glacier wind underground water sea waves eder dara je landform e change hocche shetake bola hocche exogenetic process next exogenetic processes characteristics characteristics of exogenetic process these are slow processes or time consuming process they change the current landforms they occur by the agents like river wind glacier sea waves groundwater tides etc by this process some landforms are lowered while some landforms gain height the sun is the main sources of main source of energy now exogenetic process er under e amra pacchi gradation so we know about what is gradation and gradation can be divided into two parts degradation and aggradation the process which attempt to remove all unevenness of the surface on land and reduce them to almost level or even surface is called gradation it is a combined process acting in two ways which means gradation is a process by which the uneven and rough surface of the earth is gradually smoothened by erosion or deposition in order to attain a plain and polished landform this is brought about by the exogenetic process by changing the heights of the different landforms which means je kono undulating and uneven je surface royeche earth surface er upor a uneven and undulating surface or any highlands like mountains and hills uh, erosion er jonno and deposition er jonno eta change hoye porinoto hocche ekta even surface e ekta level or even surface e so ei je change ta hocche etakei bola hocche gradation next we know about degradation the processes which result in lowering height of high landforms are called degradation process which means the process by which the height of mountains hills and plateaus are reduced by erosion and mass removal which result in lower landforms lower landforms is known as degradation as a whole the process of degradation can be divided into weathering erosion and mass wasting which means high hills change in forms and low hills e porinoto hocche high hills gulo erosion er jonno low hills e porinoto hocche shetakei bala hocche degradation in result the primary landforms which means mountains hills plateaus etc transformed into secondary landforms and which process in which process processes is weathering mass wasting and erosion and we know erosion is the process of wearing away of land surface by the external external agents by mechanical erosion and chemical erosion and we know weathering weathering is process of mechanical disintegration and decay of rocks of the earth crust by weathers elements like the sun rain wind humidity etc and by biological agents like plants animals and human beings weathering involves non transported or in situ alteration of rocks so degradation is the process of lowering of the surface of the earth it is done by erosion transportation weathering mass wasting this erosive process and active through and active through certain external agents like the sun running water river glacier wind etc let us we know about aggradation the processes which result in increasing the height of landforms by filling up of lowlands 
patients or depressions are called aggradation process which means it is the process by which land surface is built up by deposition or accumulation of debris or rock fragments like clay sand alluvium etc derived of derived from transportation and denudation deposition of these materials in lowlands or depressions result in the leveling of the earth surface अर्थात जेको लो लैंड जेको लो लैंड ये जमा हे डिपोजिशन हेको क्ले सैंड एलुफियम ये सकल मैटरियल्सगुल डिप्रिसगुलो इसे जमा हे जैगाते एंड सार्फेसटा इफेंट सार्फेसे परिणत हे एट लो हिल्स छो एट डिपोजिशन हार जो जमा हार जो अकुमेशन हार जो ये जैगाटा हाई हिल्स परिणत हल सो हम डिग्रेडेशन समय देखे हाई हिल्सटा लो हिल्स परिणत हो इफेंट सार्फेसे चले एंड एग्रेडेशन समय अक्यूमुलेशन जो जमा हार जो मैटरियल्सगुलो जमा हार जो एट लो हिल्स छो जो हाई हिल्स परिणत हो रेजल्ट की हे फर्मेशन अफ लोएस एलभियल कोन्स एंड फैंस फ्लाट प्लेंस न्याचरल लिभि डेल्टा ड्रामलिन्स मोरेंस एटसेट्रा इन हुईच प्रसेस इन डिपोजिशन और अक्यूमुलेशन प्रसेस which means the earth materials brought down by the dynamic forces of natural nature like river glacier wind etc due to degradation are deposited in the lower slopes in lowlands basins or depressions the process of such accumulation of materials the increasing the height of the current landform is known as aggradation अर्थात डिग्रेडेशने कि हाई जो हिल्सगुलो रही है सेगल लोअर हिल्स परिणत होरोशनर जो एंड एग्रेडेशने कि लोअर हिल्सगुलो डिपोजिशनर जो हाई हिल्स और इफेंट सार्फेसे परिणत होच मीस डिग्रेडेशन प्लस एग्रेडेशन इजिकल टू ग्रेडेशन एंड डिग्रेडेशन डान बै दिस प्रसेस वेदारिंग मास वाशिंग एंड इरोशन एंड एग्रेडेशन हुईच मीस डिपोजिशन डान बै दिस प्रसेस डिपोजिशन बै ग्राउंड व्टार डिपोजिशन बै रिफार डिपोजिशन बै ग्लैसियर डिपोजिशन बै उन्ड एंड डिपोजिशन बै सीवेबस एंड इरोशन कैन बी क्लैसिफाइड इन टू दिस ग्रुप लाइक इरोशन बै रिफार इरोशन बै ग्लैसियर इरोशन बै उन्ड erosion by sea waves erosion by ground water so today we learned about geomorphic process gradation degradation and aggregation so this brings to me the end of today's lesson guys and i hope that this video lesson this video was helpful for all of you सो जो भलो लागे अति अवश्य तुम्हारा जान कि लाइक करते एंड सबसक्राइब करते और हमें कमेंट सेक्शने लिखे जाना तुम्हारा कत इम्प्रूव हो भिडियोजगलो देखे कारण हमार सत्य सेगल तुम्हारे कमेंट्सगुलो पढ़ते जानते खूब ही भलो लागे सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट भिडियो टिल दैन टेक केयर योर सेल्फ स्टे कनेक्टेड थैंक यू